Okay, Boomer Nation, welcome back to day number three of our little series that we're doing here for you. So if you remember back in the earlier videos, we talked about the major question that I get on a daily basis. What area do I need to focus on once I've met with my doctor to rapidly improve my, improve my health? So the first thing we covered was mobility, which was yesterday. And today we're going to cover a little bit more strength. First and foremost, I really want to say I appreciate the effort that you're putting forward because you're showing that you're committed to having long-term sustainable health. Because you see, a lot of times in life, people get to a certain number, say 50, 55, 60, you know what that number is, and they just say, hey, I'm done. But a lot of the top boomers that I know, they set goals for themselves. Maybe they have a bodybuilding goal, maybe they have a triathlon. I have a, I have a client of mine that just set a goal for running a triathlon, and he's 63 years old, and he never had that goal, but now he has a zest for life. So you're making a positive choice to move forward in your life versus somebody else who, you know, they give up, they take up watching Seinfeld, Sex in the City, whatever shows on, and they just watch it over and over and over again. Their health gets worse and worse and worse, and then they lose things. Um, i.e. they lose that connection with their grandchildren because they can't keep up with them. They lose mobility and then they start, they start to get weak, weak mentally. So strength training starts to give you an edge. It starts to give you an edge in life that you now have zest. You start to do things on your bucket list. You're starting to add passion in your life. You're starting to add excitement to your life. So I really appreciate that because you're one of the few and you're making this world a better place and you're inspiring other people around it. So you're taking age making it just a number because that's what it is and I could you know tell you all about it but that's another blog video so let me talk to you a little bit about how you want to improve getting strength so the first thing when doing your strength training program is you want to first mobilize so do your mobility work because the range of motion that you have in that strength training workout is the range of motion that you're gonna have through that whole workout so if you're not mobilizing your shoulders and you're doing a lot of shoulder work that day, you get a strain tear pull in that shoulder and so much for your strength training. So first, always begin with mobilization. The next thing is you want to start setting some specific strength training goals. To maintain the strength that you have, you want to do strength training one to two times a week. And if you want to maximize strength, you want to do it four times a week. And let me tell you the importance of this. I had a client of mine that she was working day after day after day after day with the, with the same strength training program. And she was frustrated. She went through multiple exercise programs with different individuals and finally I just made that one comment. I said, you need to go from two times a week and you need to do four times a week and that is what's going to get you the strength that you want. And she went and did it and she goes, Ugh. I just knew it. I had to put the effort forward to get the results that I wanted. So you need to make a commitment to get stronger and set some specific performance goals. So maybe you're an athlete runner. So maybe you want to focus on gaining more endurance. Maybe your goal is to become stronger. Maybe your goal is just have more functional strength. Use your body weight for things like hiking or skiing. So set yourself a specific goal within that program. So uh, strive for progressive overload. So the progressive overload will be is every single workout, try to improve one to five percent every single workout. Maybe do one more rep. Maybe do a little bit more weight. That's what I would focus on with a strength training program. So commit, if you can only get in twice a week, that's gonna help you maintain, but if you wanna get stronger, four times a week, maximum, th you know, three to four times a week maximum, and then focus on progressive overload. And with that said, as you're starting to progress in your program, continue to work on that mobility. So the action item I leave you with today is one, what is your goal? What is your goal for strength? How is that strength going to make your life better? Is it going to let you keep up with the grandchildren? Is it going to let you to be able to go outside and wash the car and work in the house in the same day? Is it going to let you run that triathlon? Is it going to let you take on a strongman competition? I'm just kidding. And maybe it is your goal to start a strongman competition. So what is your goal? What exercise plan are you going to follow? So below, um, you know, make a comment of what exercise program you're committed to and how you're going to get stronger. So if you have any questions, comments, feedback, just leave them below. If you have a personal question for me, just email me at hello at boomerfitness.com. And like always, click that like button, show the love, send it to your friends and family so they're not stuck on the couch watching Seinfeld for the next five years and you have to listen to the same story they have over and over. You want to listen to the stories where we're talking about how they just hiked someplace they've never hiked before or skied someplace they've never before. Thanks for tuning in, Brian Stecker. I'll see you in the next mobility exercise video, which is actually balanced. So see you later.